Today's video is dedicated to your favorite brake check and road rage situations. How often do you see something like this on the road and how can this be avoided right in the comments? This video was created for educational, informational, and entertainment purposes only. Feel free to leave your comments under the video.
down Germantown Parkway to the light at Chimney Rock waiting to make a left turn just minding my business a couple minutes late for work and waiting for the light to turn green and for this truck in front of me to go ahead and move so the light is green other traffic moves I bump the horn and then the person turns left and I'm moving I notice they're moving a little slower than the speed limit and I want to you know try to get to work as quickly as I can um, in a safe manner I try to merge over and then this is the point where they get in front of me and I try to merge again, they get back in front of me. And then I try one more time and they get back in front of me again. And now they're straddling the middle line and I'm just like, you know, frustrated, concerned that I'm gonna be late for work and really just confused on why somebody would, you know, do this type of stuff, right? You know, we're in a resident residential neighborhood. 
I don't know that what their destination is, but I'm just trying to get to the elementary school where I was substitute teaching that day. And so I decided, you know, because there's a bike lane beside me not to continue to try to pass this person because they're clearly not going to let me go. And, um, you know, we just continue to drive on down the road. And I'm thinking, okay, once they get past the school, I can go on. It'll be fine. And, you know, I'll just, you know, go on, move on with my day or whatever, not let this person's actions ruin um, what I'm trying to, to take care of on this day, which is to get to school and all of that. And, you know, be the best PE teacher that I can on this particular day. Um, for the students. And so then I see them merging over and I realize, oh my goodness, we are going to the same exact destination because they're turning in where I'm turning in. And then this is when it just gets very obvious at, you know, how much this person is willing to behave in this manner. So, you know, I decide, okay, well, let me just hang back. I'll pretend that I'm dropping off a child too. Um, They've been in front of me the whole time. Don't know that I am commuting to work. They don't know that I'm not dropping off a child. So once they get in the drop-off line, I merge past them and go ahead and pull into the employee parking lot. And so then I'm going to flip the, the footage after I back in um, to show the front of the vehicle. So you'll see that part coming up here shortly. Once I get back into the parking space that I selected um, to park my car, you'll go ahead and see what their car looks like. So I have an arrow pointing to it, rear the, the information there as far as rear camera view of the pickup truck. And then I drew brackets around that actual pickup truck so that it's obvious to see which vehicle um, was doing this. I couldn't use the audio from the car because I was playing the radio and that would, you know, basically be my play. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. What episode do you remember most? Write in the comments.